In this video, I will show you how to do a gradient transition between two different textures for an object. Okay, so in order to make this tutorial a bit easier to follow, just enable the node wrangler add-on, which is included in Blender, to automate a lot of the node setups. And then you can press S then Shift Z to scale the cube on the X and Y axis. And then let's go into the shader editor. And then select the principal node, and then press Shift D to uh, duplicate. And then we can add a mix shader node. So press Shift A, and then mix shader. And then we're going to connect both principal nodes into the mix shader node. And then in order to mix them with a transition in between, we can add the gradient texture node in between. So connect color to the factor of the mix shader. And then if we go into rendered view and we change the color, and then let me just quickly change the light into a sun we can see the transition a bit better and then we can also uh, set it to easing and make the color blue for example okay so now we have the transition and then in order to control this gradient transition we first need to add a mapping node so connect vector to vector and then a texture coordinate node so just search texture coordinates and then connect generated to vector. And you can now control the transition between the two materials by using the location inputs. And then if you want to do the transition on a certain axis, you can add the separate X, Y, C node, and then connect Y to vector, for example. You can see that the transition now happens along the Y axis. And the same for the Z axis, if you connect set to the vector input of the gradient texture. And then we can add some textures to the principled nodes. So uh, let's add a principal setup and you can find these three textures in the description. As you can see, we now have the first texture and then we can replace the blue color with another texture. So select it, then click add principal setup. And now I'm going to select a uh, new texture and as you can see, we now animate between the two textures with a transition. 